Oh, God, good morning. How are we doing? Um, it is currently 25 past 8. Um, I've sort of just woken up, but I've sort of just been chilling for a bit. As you can see by the eyes, I'm a bit, eh, not really with it. But yeah, so we are going to go for today with basically my life. I'm going to take you through what I eat in a day to try and lose some weight. And then I'm also going to show a bit of my training if I can. And that is basically the POA, plan of action. So let's go and weigh in this morning to see where we're at. Because obviously I, track, I will track that throughout the week, um, like linearly, so I can see my average for the week. And then it just gives an idea of if I'm actually doing the right thing. As you can see, I've still got a calendar of Jennifer Lawrence up there. I just really can't be bothered to take it down. And it's really old as well, but nonetheless, let's go and weigh in. As you can see here, just going to flip between the two bits, saying that I'm roughly weighing in at about 85.6, which going with the rest of the process probably is about right. Can you get it back off to the side? Which, yeah, probably does make sense and is where I'd imagine I'd be at. Um, I've got about another two ish weeks to sort of get down to a, a better sort of range that I want to be at, maybe a bit more than two weeks. But I'm going to step up my training a bit more uh, this week and next week. Uh, so it should should be quite possible to get below 83, 82 with the way I'm doing it because I'm trying to lose weight very quickly, basically. So but I was planning on doing like a proper like, this is what I look like sort of thing. However, I am way, way too self-conscious at the moment for that. So I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do for now is I'm just going to tell you my plan for the day and how I'm expecting it to go. So I have woken up, as I said, it's about 25 past eight. Now it's more approaching half past eight. I haven't had anything to eat yet. Um, so all I'm gonna do for now is I fast up until about 12, one, one o'clock, and I stopped eating around eight o'clock last night. Uh, heading over to the gym at around 10 o'clock is my aim. Um, I will be walking over there, and then hopefully when I get there, I can film a little bit, and then once we get back, I will show you the meals I'm having today, and hopefully it won't be weird. And I'm just going to try and like, push through and do like some of the weird things that no one wants to do, like film in public, film in a gym, get people to film for you, and just things like that. So I'm just going to try and ease myself into it. In an hour and a bit, I'll probably catch up with you guys and let you know what the plan is. Um, today at the gym, we are hitting legs and shoulders. Uh, I might also do a bit of cardio, depending on how I'm feeling afterwards. Um, so I'll start with my legs, go into the shoulders, and then finish off with some cardio. There we go, cool. So I will catch up with you guys in about an hour's time. Okay, so it has been about an hour now, so it's half nine, um, and I'm gonna head to the gym in about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna walk there. Um, I always try and walk to the gym if I can, uh, just to get my steps up. Um, aiming for about 10,000 a day, if not more. Yesterday I managed to get to 14,000, so that was pretty good. Um, what I am going to take now before I go to the gym is I've used nearly all of these now, but it's Thermopure. Uh, today is my smaller leg day, um, so I'm more focused on my shoulders. Um, I'll explain my routine a bit more in another video, um, but I'll just try and take you through a few clips of what I do. Boy howdy, does it take a long time to fill this up. I feel so bad for people if they're stood behind me, so I'm not going to take that. I'm thinking. So yeah, it's actually quite a nice day today, so I was, I was going to walk in just my vest, however then I was a bit like, look like a bit of a knob just walking around in a vest when it isn't like the perfect hot weather for it so decided to put on a jumper instead because well i can but yeah it's actually quite a decent day sun shining everyone's living life everyone's having everyone's having a great day it's only 10 o'clock so not much could have gone wrong well you don't know about that do you but yeah i think i'm just trying to get used to like filming outside and things like that because it's very easy to do it in your room but it's not out and about so hopefully this is just a slow progression towards filming in public and not giving up about who sees you or whatever so let's just see how we do and then I'll catch up with a few clips in the gym I'll probably talk over them because I don't really think I can talk while I'm in there about it because I don't know it's just a bit weird off putting to other people like let's just get into the workout and hope that it's a good one because who knows nowadays anyway I will see you in the gym so now we are getting into the training. Basically, as I said, I started off with mostly leg stuff. So I started off with these lunges. I did four sets of 12, so obviously six on each leg, uh, with a 40 kilogram barbell over my back, uh, just making sure that I got a really good connection with my hamstrings. 
I then went in and did some hamstring curls and then came over and did some straight leg or limited leg movement um, deadlifts just to really attack those hamstrings and I can really feel it now. Uh, then I uh, progressed into my shoulder exercises, so I did a normal shoulder press uh, where I went from 26 to 28 and it felt quite easy, I can probably definitely progress that next time, but as I'm still getting into training again it's still a bit weird. Um, then I went into an Arnold press uh, with I think it was 20 or 22 kg, once again I feel like I can definitely progress these uh, into the future. I then finished off or finished off the filming with some lateral raises with 10 kilos um, and I went into some rear delt flies as well. Uh, after this I finished off with some shrugs and some high rows with the cable just to really finish off my shoulders and I felt like I had a really good session so I couldn't really complain. So let's get back into the rest of the video and enjoy the eating side of things too. I'm literally ripping from cardio. I only did 10 minutes but my cardio is so bad now but this is what I look like. Got a nice glisten everywhere. So yeah, all done. Time to head home. Another 150 calories burn. I took like 320 already burned in weight. So yeah, time to walk home and then get ready for some food. Okay, so we are back on the main camera now and what I'm doing now is I'm going to be preparing bits for my lunch. So we are having pulled pork and then I'm going to make a burrito bowl out of the rest of the stuff I've got. We have got pulled pork from Aldi, I'm going to have roughly half of that. We've got half an onion, some lettuce, some pepper and then some rice. So I'm just going to cook those up now and then we should be ready to go and I will show you what it looks like when we have finished it. Okay, so lunch is now made. This is my bowl. It's about 700 calories because I've also got this for dessert because I need to finish on something sweet. Um, normally this would be a lot less calories because I'd normally just put chicken in there but eh, we've had to switch it up. Um, so I'm just going to leave you guys running up there and I'm going to enjoy this and then we will go from there really I guess. So cool, let's start a time lapse in three, two, And that is the last bit done. Meal has now been eaten, and I am a lot happier now, aren't I? Thank you. So yeah, I'm going to head upstairs, probably edit some of this video, and then just chill out. I think we're going on the dog walk around 3.30, am I correct? I am, I've got a thumbs up there. So I'll probably have my next meal at around half two, so in two, oi! Oi! God, you think you know someone and they love you, but clearly not. It's all right. I'll do something later. That's fine. We'll figure this out. We'll be even. Yeah. So I have my next meal around half two. Um, so it's about two hours time so just to chill out, um, start getting things done for this video and then start progressing on to other ones as well. And yeah, see you when I see you. Okay, so. I said I would catch you when I next eat and I'm about to, but I just got a my protein delivery because I needed some more supplements. Shocking that. So I ordered a few bits in there. You can use my discount code COATS for 0% off. Maybe one day I'll have one, but yeah, not at the moment. What I did order is I needed some more protein because the one I'm using currently is nearly out. So I got I wasn't very, I went basic, I went for vanilla this time. I thought I'd switch it up because I fancied a bit of vanilla for a little while, so I've got a vanilla protein there. These were on offer, uh, protein light bars. So obviously there's literally about 2.6 carbs in one of these bars. The rest is fiber. So if you, need, if you struggle getting your fiber in, these could be quite useful. They're not the best tasting, but you get used to them after a little while. I then also got some protein cookies. Now these, they're not necessarily the best macros, but if you're really struggling to get protein with little, Fat. So there's 9 grams of fat in these and then there's about 20 grams of carbs. So if you are struggling to get your protein, because the protein in here is like 38. So I find these quite useful on days where I'm struggling and I just, I don't really want a meal. Sometimes people always say that you can always just have a meal, but I don't want a meal. I sometimes just want something simple, so I've got some more of these. And then finally, in a very crushed box, I have some of the protein granola 
raspberry and blackberry. So that was my recent delivery. So let's move in to the next piece of food that I have, which is just over there, and I'll explain what it is once we get into it. Okay, so as I'm sure some of you realise, I have changed and I've also showered, so my hair's a bit fluffier now. But my next meal, so before we go on the dog walk, is actually overnight oats. So overnight protein oats even. So what I like to do is I put about 150 grams of yoghurt, so the 0% fat yoghurt. I mix in 20 grams or 25 grams, depending on how much I need, of protein. At the moment, I'm using the Speculoos flavoured one, which is basically Lotus Biscoff, so it's been, like, phenomenal. I've absolutely loved it. And then you stick oats in, so I've got 60 grams of oats. I'll show you like, a little screen thing there of what it is, uh, with a couple of flavour drops, just to make the flavour bang a bit more. And then, obviously, you just leave it overnight, uh, wrap it up in cling film so it doesn't get um, dry on the top and then you enjoy. Another thing I like to do is, so I've obviously got it here, all done there, and I've got the tiniest spoon I could find to try and make this last a bit longer to make me feel a bit fuller for longer. So yeah, in there, 60 grams of oats, 150 grams of yogurt, 20 grams of speculoos protein, some flavor drops, and left overnight. So I forgot to say in the last clip, but there are two extra sort of supplements that I take uh, they have to be taken with a meal, so I take a daily multivitamin from my protein, and then I also take a cod liver oil tablet. So we have just returned back from our afternoon of walk. We were out for probably like half an hour, maybe a bit longer. Probably what's the time? Maybe a bit longer, maybe like 35, 40 minutes. So good life, good nice walk, um, and obviously I had my Fitbit on the whole time, so I can now update my step. So currently for the day, we are on. 9,501. What I am going to do now is I am going to eat a protein bar that I already had. So I have one of the lemon cheesecake uh, low ones. There's me over there. Um, one of those left. So I'm going to have one of those now. And then I'm just going to chill out and just maybe edit a bit more of this video so it's ready to go tomorrow because that's just the easiest way to do it. So I'll have you having this now and that'll be about it. And then I'll catch up with you, as I said, at dinner. Bye. Okay, so this is at a really awkward angle. So I'm going to have to do this, but do it kind of weirdly at the same time. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to make, first of all, my protein pancake recipe, which I'm going to be having as my last meal of the day, and then I'm also going to be making my dinner, which I'll be having in about whenever it's ready, really. Protein pancakes are going to consist of my creatine, the protein, the speculoos one, one egg, some cinnamon, some baking soda, baking powder, some soya unsweetened uh, milk, and then some oats as well. So this recipe comes to about 394 calories, and then normally I'll put something else on top, but we'll wait until we get to that later. So for now, I'm just gonna make it and then blend it all up. So 100 grams of the soya milk. Oh, boy. oh I hate doing that bit. 50 grams of oats, cinnamon. So I'm just gonna tip it up, give it a couple of shakes. About a quarter of a teaspoon baking powder. So we're going for about 25 grams of our protein powder. Everything's in there now and blend. So there we go. This is now going to go in the fridge for until I'm ready to have it really. There you go. Quickly whipped up basically what I'm going to have for dinner. It is nothing spectacular however it's just something simple and I quite like it in that in that sense. What we have at the moment is we have two uh, thins from Aldi with roughly 40 grams of lettuce and then 30 grams of the reduced salt and sugar ketchup. I've weighed out 30 grams of cheese and I've got four turkey rashers and I'm also gonna have an apple with it. So once again, like always, I'll put something around here, around the actual like macros and everything like that around this meal. Um, so this should tie me over until uh, I'm ready for my last meal of the day and then that will be that. So as you can see it makes American sort of style pancakes instead. Obviously you just put the lid on and then you're pretty much sorted. Normally it makes about four or five but it just depends and then I'll show you at the end what they all look like. So to finish off the day we have some protein pancakes with some raspberries underneath and then I just put the last one on top because I ran out of raspberries and I needed a different way so I put some lemon juice on as well. I'm not going to change anything on my fitness pal but it's roughly all there. There's some raspberries, there's some protein pancakes, there's everything there so that is all good to go. So I'll put like a little image over here of the macros and everything like that for this. Unless I did it earlier, then I won't bother. But this will be my last meal of the day, so I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I'm going to sign out of the video. Okay, so that has now finished my day of eating. It is now about quarter to eight, so I had my last meal a bit early just to help myself like follow 
everything that I needed to. Um, and that's that's now me done. That is my eating done. Um, I will not eat anything else until 12, 1 tomorrow at least, or at the, at the earliest. Um, I've managed to achieve 11,000 steps on top of my training and my cardio. Um, I'll do another video at a later date, just going through sort of everything around my training, nutrition. So what I'm gonna include now is just up here, I'm just gonna put the final macros, calories, everything like that, just so you guys can see where I'm roughly at. I hope you guys have actually enjoyed it because it's been nice actually getting back into the swing of it and showing you a bit more about sort of my lifestyle and everything like that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have taken anything away from this video, if you could leave it a like, that would be absolutely brilliant, especially in these early stages of the videos. A like would mean a lot. If you haven't, please do subscribe. And if, because of the low following we have at the moment, if you could share it with any of your friends, just talk to anyone about it. If they need any ideas, tips, anything like that, please do let them know to come to this channel. It has been an absolute pleasure. I hope you have had a lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.